get in here and meet Leah Goldstein. If you are unfamiliar with this woman, you're about to uh, be put onto a book that is going to change your life if you've ever thought that you had a mountain to climb because you've done <laughs> so much with your life. Honestly, we were chatting in the green room and there are so many ways we can go to cover off what you've done. I love the way it is, it is laid out here on the cover of No Limits, the powerful true story of a world champion kickboxer, ultra endurance cyclist, Israeli undercover police officer. How do you do all of those things in your life and be so young? Um, it was just the things that I had a passion for um, and just the life struggles that I had to go through um, to, to get the things that I wanted to do. And it was just a drive in me and, uh, and I knew what I wanted and nothing would stop me to do those things. Um, so one thing kind of just led to another. No Limits reads like a, a movie. Thank you. And it opens with yeah. what a lot of people don't admit to is being afraid of the dark, something as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Talk about that and how that led to, to Taekwondo. How being afraid of the dark, being bullied, and then standing up to that belief. Well, I mean, I think we're all faced with our fears, right? I mean, that's just a fear. I just didn't like the dark, so I always had a little nightlight, right? Um, but the whole Taekwondo, I think, started with being bullied in school and being chased, you know? And then you get to that breaking point where you say, enough. You know, and then you face, you know, for me it was facing these bunch of boys that were, you know, coming after me. And that's where kind of led to Taekwondo with seeing Bruce Lee, this little man fighting off all these people. So I got to do that. And so I kind of dove into Taekwondo. I fell in love with it. And that's kind of how the whole martial arts thing started with me. At a very young age. And yes. your father, not a big fan of perhaps his daughter being punched as hard as you were being punched. Well, he wasn't a big fan of the kickboxing, right? right? Um, and the kickboxing started because my father was a national champion in boxing, so I picked up boxing at a very young age because he would, you know, imitate. That's what we watched on television. Right. So with the Taekwondo and boxing, that's where it led to, taek or to kickboxing. And that was hard for him because, you know, you're in the ring, it's full contact, and it's always hard to see somebody you love getting, you know, But interesting, your mom was okay with that. Your my, mom's here today, my your mom best was friend. Always. She never said no to nothing I did. She was always very supportive, I think. Um, and my biggest fan and my best friend, you know. Okay, how did you become an Israeli soldier or police officer? How, how did you, undercover police officer? Well, they? I knew when I was seven that I would do something in the secret police. You know, I knew at, at that young age. Really? It was, it was Bruce Lee at that young age, and then later on it would be James Bond. So after I won the world championships, I went to the Middle East. I went into um, the military, of course, because it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. And I was picked up in a special unit called Krav Maga. And that's a form of self-defense for soldiers. And I was put in a special unit from, the, from there. And then I was picked up by the government to work on kind of um, undercover work for more, you know, civilian kind of stuff in the in the country itself. So it all kind of transitioned from, from one thing to another, leading to different agencies who wanted me to work for them. And then you become an elite cyclist. And then I became an elite cyclist. Because, <laughs> uh, overachiever. <laughs> yes, but driven and driven to conquer your fears. When you started cycling, what was the most difficult thing for you? I think, well, for one, I thought I was I was good in the Middle East, primarily because there wasn't a lot of competition. Competition. But when I came to North America, and then I was on the national team, and then going into Europe, I realized I wasn't really that good. And so it took me like a long time to get to that level that I wanted to be at. And that in the book, and I really do recommend that you pick up a copy of No Limits, because in here you're very, we jumped a, lo a lot of uh, topics here in the four minutes that we have. This is truly a painted portrait of a life because you go through that moment with the bully when you said, well, if I'm going to have a fight one day, then maybe today's the day right. so that I can say I've, I've had this and I moved it out of the way if he's going to keep threatening me like Bet. this. There are some great messages in No Limits. Thank you. Thank you for this solid read. Thank you Thank for you giving us Thank a you. few highlights of Thanks. your life. Uh, make sure you uh, check out uh, Leah's website for more information. Leah Goldstein uh, will be doing a book launch in September so you can find out more details. There are book signings at uh, mightywriters.ca. There you go, Twitter, and uh, to connect at her website. No Limits is the name of the book. Uh, I'm going to keep this if you don't Thank mind. You. <laughs>